Hey guys, welcome back to a jewelry unboxing, literally a jewelry box. We're going to look inside this wonderful jewelry box that I got as a present, a gift, a wonderful, wonderful, thoughtful gift from Don Maserati, who does content here as well. She is, actually we're mutual subscribers, and um, she's been a subscriber of mine since probably the day I started, so... Very grateful to her to have thought about me with this beautiful jewelry box. It is one that she hauled. She used to do a lot of live thrift hauls, but when they changed the policy about a thousand subscribers needed to go live, she had to abruptly stop. And that was a real shame because we miss all the wonderful finds that she encounters over in her neck of the woods in California, Sacramento, I believe. So we're going to open it up and see what's in there. Let's say hello to a couple of people. Let me know how the stream is going as well, guys. Last night it did get a little choppy. I noticed that when we went to, uh, when I went to look at the rerun, the replay. But I hope it's okay today. It took a little bit of time to do a thumbnail, and I don't even think it did a thumbnail, actually. I don't know what's going on, but let me know how it is and how it's sounding. I hope it's all okay. I was able to uh, put my mic in again, so... I know we had a little problem with that as well. Hey, how are you, Liz? See, and I don't know if the camera's straight or not, guys. It's it's giving me a hard time. <laughs> I don't know what is it, what it is about this tripod. Sometimes I have a smaller tripod, guys, and it actually works better than this big one. I think this one's called the Joby or the Gorilla or something. Lily is here. Perla, how are you? Denise and Leslie and Barbara and Barb and Jen and Laura and Michelle. I think I said hello to her. So we'll get started and let me see. This guy doesn't seem to want to be stay closed. She wrote some wonderful notes on each of these little things. And the thing I showed you last night was that beautiful Leo. Well, I call it Leo the Lion. And she's a Leo as well. So she knows that I love lions. She said she couldn't get she couldn't get it to stay closed or something, but sometimes you can work on those. Look at that beautiful brooch, guys. I hope you can see it. Oh my gosh, isn't it amazing? Oh, I think it's so cute. So that's one of the brooches that was in there. I've never seen one like this, like a little, literally like a door knocker. Isn't that the sweetest? And it's got emerald colored eyes, and then it's even got like some rhinestones right there around the knocker. The little, the little ring. I love it. I've seen a lot of lion jewelry, but I really like this enamel work on this one too. It's really pretty. Guys, don't forget to uh, hit the thumbs up as you walk in the door. I really appreciate it. We are doing a lot of jewelry looking today. This is not something that I purchased. It was a gift. Um, it is a music box as well, so I don't know how it turns on. Sometimes you have to open a certain drawer to get them to open, so it does have can you see the two little drawers? Let me move this camera just a tad so you can see the two other drawers right there. And we will go in there first and see what's in there. Oh my gosh, it's like jam-packed. Jam-packed in here. So let's pull out some chains. Ooh, looks good already, guys. Look at that, like a little coin. Jewelry, necklaces, is this a belt? Oh, I think this is a belt. Oh my gosh, I need to lose weight so I can wear a belt. <laughs> Look how pretty. I was just looking at my Vatican collection that I have. I have a few pieces of uh, this design that was out at Dillard's for a while. It was called the Vatican Collection, and it was from the Vatican. Uh, they put out, you know, licensed products, of course. And that's what it reminds me of. This is amazing. Thank you, Dawn. Oh, my gosh. This is so heavy and beautiful. I probably wear this as a necklace, too. But it's definitely a belt. See the hook there? A little hook right there. Oh, my goodness. And I can't quite tell the design. It looks like some kind of a hatch, cross hatching or something. And it's got some beautiful metal work, so you can definitely get a lot of brilliance going there. Hi, Miss Ashley. How are you? So that is amazing. Super heavy as well. That's a beautiful belt. I never run into belts that are in such great condition. This is, you know, this kind of style. I don't know. Maybe they did bring it back, but it seems to be retro or rather vintage. And when you see them, rarely are they in good condition. 
So that was, that is awesome. Okay, here's another little gold chain in the plastic bag. Let me pull this out and see what's in here. Oh my gosh. Don't forget to subscribe as well, guys, if you're new here. I'm going to do a regular jewelry jar probably in a couple of days. And I'm trying to do a what's in my bag as well. Or a ride along. I haven't done one of those this week. Oh my gosh, another gorgeous belt. Look at this. Milano, Rome, New York. Oh my gosh. I want to wear jeans. <laughs> Just to wear this beautiful belt. I think this is about, this might be, yeah, it's got to be a belt. Oh my gosh. And it's got a lion head right there too. That's a little lion head right there. Oh my goodness gracious. Let me pull this light over here a little bit. Oh wow, that's gorgeous. This reminds me, guys, you're probably, to me, I'm probably too young, but back, um, I would say, early 90s, Moschino came out with handbags, and they said Moschino, and they were all just basically gold hardware with these little labels on their on their bags. They were kind of like the nylon Prados, and then they just said Moschino. That's what these little bars remind me of. This is so cool. Paris, New York, Rome, Milano. Milano, Rome. In New York. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. What a, what an awesome find. Thank you so much. Okay, here's a beautiful sterling bracelet. I've never seen a bracelet this this wide. It's a braided herringbone. Oh wow, this is cute. This and it is marked 925. Look at that. Paolo Gucci. Yeah, I, I'm telling you, to me it reminds and I had that bag. I love that bag. I don't know why I sold it. I used to carry it to class and all the 20-year-old girls would admire it. <laughs> Early 90s, yeah, like 90. It, and you can find them still on Posh. Just look for the vintage uh, Moschino. Some people say Moschino, but it's Moschino because it's Italian. Okay, that is super. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna can't wait to buff this out. It's an awesome, awesome piece. Thank you so much, Miss Dawn. Wow, that is awesome. Okay, let's see what else is in this little bottom one. There's a little sheriff badge to remind the students who's the boss. <laughs> she, she's got a crazy sense of humor. I love that. <laughs> it's all with the sheriff's badge. For sure. It's so cute. Not only that, we go Texan next week. We're going to have a, our road, rodeo kickoff, and we do a Go Texan Palm Springs Sheriff. That is so cool. Don't I wish I was the Palm Springs Sheriff? Oh, how nice. That is super cute. And then I think this is a scarf. It's another thing we tend to, to thrift alike is the scarves. Hi, Cindy. How are you? I'm glad you're here. Hey, Perla, I'm opening a, uh, this is a little jewelry box, and it was sent to me by Dawn, and when she hauled it, Carla, I said, oh my gosh, I love that that jewelry box. It's been about six months or so, and, and she sent it to me. She's so sweet. So, oh, wow, look at this. This looks like a poochie or something, huh? And I think she has found a poochie. I have one poochie. Oh, this is cute. It is signed. I don't know who. It's definitely a retro look if it's not retro. Look at that. Oh, I love it. It looks a little bit like a Tetris game. But let me see what the signature is here. Can't. I found it a minute ago. I saw it a minute ago. Can you guys see it? It's so pretty. What pretty blues in here. Oh, my gosh. Here it is. Carla Fassini. Oh my gosh, some Italian, I'll bet. That's a beautiful scarf. It's so nice. A little pop art there. Look at that. That is a beautiful scarf. It is square. And just amazing design on that. Wow, that is awesome. Look at the condition of this box, guys. Gold velvet, so pretty. Wood, these are the drawers here. I'll let you take a look in a minute of everything when we put it back together. 
And there's another drawer here at the bottom, and it is packed. So i got to hold on to the jewelry box to get it out. It is a music box, too, but I just love anything with books. I was telling you guys last night about that. Anything with a book motif or people reading, I'm there. Especially animals reading. <laughs> so when I saw it, I was like, that is just the coolest box ever. More scarves, I believe. And then the ones at the top, guys, the, where the books are sticking out, these little, they almost look like little law books. They're so cute. Those are actually the pools. And we haven't looked in those drawers yet. Here's some more scarves, I believe. Oh my gosh, she's a very good packer, I'll tell you that. Ooh, this looks kind of Versace looking. The design already reminds me of Versace. Look at this. Ooh, cute. Look, it's got all of the coins and chains motif. Isn't it a beautiful jewelry box? She said in her note, I don't know if you're still keeping jewelry boxes because I was selling some. I said, I'm going to sell some just to keep this one because I love it. This is gorgeous, guys. I love it. Black, too. Black is not that common in scarves, I find. So that is awesome. It's got all of the little jewelry motifs and coins and yeah, that is amazing. Very cool scarf. This is also square. Very large. Probably definitely fit over the shoulders. That is nice. Scarves are everything, aren't they? I also love using scarves to, um, as dust bags for my finer handbags. Oh, here's another small one. Oh my gosh, this one's pretty. What a beautiful color. It's like a really pretty aqua color. This one's nice. Look at that. Hi, lady. How are you? Lady Chickapoo. You love scars too, Perla? Me too. Oh, these, this is an amazing color. Very, very nice. I hope you can see that. It's small too. That one will look really nice in a uh, tight around a handbag as well. But I do wear them. I wear them around my neck. I really want to wear them over my head, like they used to do in the fifties. Remember? And they, of course, I'd need a a reason to do that. I'd have to get in a on a convert inside a convertible or back of a motorcycle or something. Here's a nice big one. Really pretty. This one has kind of a travel motif, I would say. They kind of look like postcards and tassels and stationery and also super big and red and square. Yeah, this one's square too. Very, very nice. I love this. I also drape them on my furniture <laughs> instead of the, well, I do doilies and things too on certain things, but like on my big dressers, it really keeps them a little, you know, ha from me having to dust every other day. So I use them a lot on my furniture as well. I have a, a little, all more that I put one on, several. Okay, let's go up here. Let's see if I can get in here. It's kind of hard to get in here, guys. Okay, let's try, let's try the middle one. I'm going to ruin my nails, but that's okay. Because <laughs> I have to go in there. <laughs> I just ruined my nail. It's okay. I'm not crazy about this color anyway. All right, let's see. I'm going to have to use something to squeeze this down a little bit. Yeah. Okay, maybe the top one will help. Okay, maybe if I do this one. There you go. I'll do this one. And then we'll push the other one down. I should have thought about that earlier. All right. Here is some more jewelry, guys, that I'm already loving. These are amazing. And she says, 
I don't like, I don't know if you like Asian motifs, but I think these would be stunning on you. I know you're taking a break from pierced, maybe these, oh, definitely. Thank you so much. I was telling everyone about my sister having to switch to clip-ons and look at these amazing, and she loves green. She loves green. Green is her color. So perfect. I swear, Dawn is just a good listener. <laughs> she really is. This is amazing. Yeah, she loves green and her birthstone is emerald. So that's probably why she really likes green. Thank you so much. Those are gorgeous clip-on earrings. Really pretty. Look, they even have a little comfort thing in the back. They are gorgeous. And I do like Asian motifs as well. Hi, Kathy. How are you? We are opening a box from a mutual subscriber and friend, Dawn Maserati. She's, I showed it in my video last night, but I just showed one piece of it, and I said I would show it up close and personal today. So it's a gorgeous little bookcase. Let me show it to you real quick. See, it's like a bookcase motif, jewelry box, and we're getting through it. It was full of jewelry. It is full of jewelry and scarves, and we saw a bunch of little scarves a minute ago. Get those sales, lady. <laughs> exactly. Look at that money. Oh, I like it. <laughs> it's cute. This is so pretty. Look at I used to have a bar like that, a little pendant. But I sold it, and I regret it because they're so expensive now. That is so cute. So it's got the um, Bentley, I believe. No, the Rolls Royce hood there a bag of money a couple of rhinestones <laughs> that's darling that is too cute really pretty <laughs> get those sales she put in the note that's awesome okay and then oh christmas more christmas can't get enough christmas brooches for sure I know, me too. That's why I'm saying I'm a bookworm too, and I love anything with books or people reading. Look at that gorgeous enamel brooch. There is nowhere on this thing. Oh my gosh, it's so beautiful and very, very hefty. That's amazing. I do love my Christmas brooches, and that's definitely a vintage one. Oh my gosh, that's gorgeous. So pretty. I even put these on my candles. <laughs> you know, you can just never have too many brooches. Like, you put them anywhere you can. Awesome piece. Wow. There's a beautiful Christmas tree. Wow, this one's made really nice, too. Look at that. Really pretty. Kind of like a 3D effect with the layers there. All those beautiful stones. And then they even have like little bits of like maybe icicle looking things there. The star has a stone. Red, green, blue stones as well. Man, that's gorgeous. Hi, Fairy Vixen. How are you? And this one is marked, but I don't think I have my, my little thing with me. It looks like a... Oh, I can't tell, guys. You tell me, because I don't have my, my loop right around me, but you guys can tell me what the mark says. It's kind of a long name. Can you all see it? Is it Crown Trafari? We'll see. It's still beautiful, whatever the name is. Wow, that is so cute. I like that one. And then what, there's a snowman, a little fat snowman. Okay, here we go. Oh, this is cute. I need a snowman too. Little f no, it's not a snow. Well, it's a penguin. Looks like a snowman, but it's a penguin. He's cute. Big and fat. It looks like a blob of snow. That's why I thought he was snow. <laughs> it's darling. Very pretty. This one has a mark too. Gosh, I should have brought my... Here's my, ma my magnifying glass at least. We'll use this and see what this one says. This one says, oh, does it say Danecraft? This one looks like it says Danecraft, but I could be wrong. Right there. It's hard to read. And then let's see what the Christmas one said. 
the Christmas. Okay, now I'm really curious. Eisner. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's Eisner Ice. That's what it says, Eisner Ice. Hmm. Okay, let's see what else is in here. Eisner Ice. Mm hmm. And this one has some tape on it, so let me open this little box here. It's so cute. Yes, that, that is the cutest tree. It's got so much detail on it. Oh my gosh. Okay, this one. I don't know. Cute enough, though. <laughs> She's like, some of them should describe, and then she just said, I don't know. Cute enough, though. Okay. So these are earrings. These are pretty, too. And these are Mark Sack, S-A-C, and they're beautiful. I think they have a matching brooch. Look at that. They're little leaves. They're gold and and um, yellow and yellow gold tone and silver tone. Gold tone and silver tone. Those are pretty. And they are marked back there. Sarah Coventry, is that what Sack is, right? And this one, yes, probably. This one I can see that it says Sarah. These are pretty. I mean, this brooch is pretty. It could be a match, I suppose. Definitely looks like it, even though the leaves are a little bit different, but it does have that two-tone. Wow, those are gorgeous. Really nice. Another box here. Let me open it up. It has some tape on it. It's really nice to get boxes too. <laughs> I'm waiting on my order of boxes. Still haven't gotten here. Native sand art. I need to Google how the heck they make these. <gasps> okay, that's what was in there. Those are awesome. Look at that. Again, rodeo week coming up. These are awesome. Look at that. Those are beautiful. What pretty colors. Sand art. Wow, let me see who else dropped in. Be sure and hit that thumbs up, guys. And if you're new, don't forget to subscribe. Let me see who else just came in. Sanja, how are you, Sanja and Connie? Appreciate you guys being here. Denise as well. Lily. Yeah, these are awesome. I really like these. Gloria Gonzalez is here. If I ever come across a brand name jewelry like Chanel necklaces, earrings, brooch, Oh, yes, absolutely, yes, I have, many times. Uh, the Chanel that I've come across was actually silver tone, and it sold for $200 on Posh. A lot of things, other things like Tiffany, I've kept, I've sold some. Uh, Bulgari, I ran into this this last year, I believe it was last year, 18 karat. So it happens very often, yes. Thank goodness, right? That's that's the fun of these jars. You just never know what you're going to find. Some days you find paparazzi that's not so bad, and some days you find amazing things that you can't even believe. Oh, I found this little diamond, too. I need to sell this, though. It's so cute, but it doesn't fit me. It's a little bit too tight, and then it's big on the pinky. So diamonds, yeah, definitely, and pearls and stuff. And I've been pretty lucky, and so have a lot of other people in the in the jewelry and jarring business. <laughs> they find things all the time as well. For St. Patty's, so you didn't get pinched. That's right, and a happy Mardi Gras to you guys. Did y'all get um, a little gluttonous today? I did. I ate all day. Now I'm not going to eat. I stopped eating it at about 4 o'clock, and I... I'm definitely not eating after six anymore. This is sign, guys. This is gorgeous. Look at this beautiful brooch. Wow, that is so pretty. That looks royal. Look at that brooch. It's got a pearl. It's got enameling. It is, what is this? Men's. Some of these brands I've never heard of, guys. I'll let y'all look at No, it's Monet. <laughs> it's Monet. I was looking at it kind of strange. There it is right there. And I was trying to put a Z in it. I don't know how. 
But look at that amazing brooch. That looks like Queen Elizabeth should be wearing that. Or like something that would be at the end of her staff, right? What's it called? Is that what it's called? That little stick she carries. Oh, that's gorgeous. I've never seen such a pretty Monet brooch. Honest. That is just beautiful. All right, then here's this one. Hey, Kelly, how are you? An another fabulous coin. This one looks like something from a pirate ship. From a Spanish Gideon or something. Whatever that's called. Oh, my gosh. Let's see what this says. This one absolutely screams Thelma to me. It almost screamed my name, <laughs> but I don't wear jewelry. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's so funny. This is so cool. It screams Thelma to me too. It really does. Oh my gosh, the gold on this thing, guys. Look at that. Look at this. Got it backwards. Oh, and the chains feel so nice. It kind of rough and oh those are pretty yeah definitely looking like spanish treasure there <gasps> wow these are amazing oh i'm gonna wear this oh that's pretty that is just gorgeous I love the play with the different textures of the gold tone. That is so beautiful. Oh, if it was real gold, wouldn't that be fabulous? It's heavy enough to make, make me uh, pay for a vacation in Europe. <laughs> a couple of them. <laughs> All right, here's another little bit of something here. And it says, cute layered for spring, maybe. Oh, this is pretty. Look at these. Are these like um, cloisonne, right? They're very richly textured, though. You can actually feel them there. And it's a long necklace. It is tagged. Let's see what it says. It's a long name. It's Elizabeth or what? Let me see. Elizabeth Morey. M-O-R-R-E-Y. Interesting. Has anybody heard of that one? This is a beautiful long necklace probably 40 inches long very nice very very pretty those beads are so beautiful they're actually they're not close any they're more they're lamp work i believe because you can feel that texture all over their lamp work isn't that beautiful i love that hi yvonne gilmore how are you Pirate Booty, yes, definitely. I have a fabulous book on, uh, I think it was the Atosha, which was the one that they found a few years ago, 20 years ago or something. I have a fabulous coffee table book on that and other found um, ships, sunken ships with all that treasure. It's so amazing to see what they actually unearthed. Just fabulous. Okay. I had the pearl necklace as well. Either got stolen or lost when I moved. Oh, oh, that's too bad. These are, isn't that a beautiful necklace? Look at these, more lions, guys. And these are post, post earrings, lion heads. Oh, that's gorgeous. And of course, there's two of them. Hi, Tina. Wow, these are so nice. I probably couldn't wear them for very long. They're a little bit heavy, but you know what? I can put them on some candles. I can enjoy them some way because these are gorgeous. Maybe make a pendant. That would not be bad. Hi, Miss Thelma Harper. How are you? We got to open the jewelry box. We still got another drawer, I think. Or did we open them all? Let me put this one back. Okay, we still got this one that was stuck. Ooh, look in there, guys. Okay, looky. Yeah, that was stuck. And I adore this jewelry box. Oh, my goodness, that would have been enough. She did not have to fill it with anything. But this is the last drawer. Let's see what's in it. Oh, 
a pretty brooch, guys. And of course she said, wear what you want, sell what you want. Kind of regal. Yeah, that's what I thought about the other one. This one's definitely pretty too. These are so different though. Aren't they? There's something stuck in the back of the box. Is that why it doesn't? Oh, there it is. Oh, it's... It's actually part of the music box, though. Yeah, I don't see anything. Maybe it kind of, it kind of got moved around. I'll have to have my husband look at it. All right, here, I think it was a Sarah. Is that what she said? Let me see. Let me look in the back. Hey, Julie, how are you? It says, Sarah. Sarah Cove as well. That's beautiful. That is really pretty. The colors on that are amazing. It's like a little mosaic. Or actually, it's more like it's pressed, but it's made to look mosaic. Blues, reds, pretty green. That's really nice. Wow, that's a beautiful brooch. Okay, let's see what else is in here. A pretty necklace. And then she says, it seems like good quality on this necklace. Yes, it's a music box. And I may just have put the wrong drawer in, so maybe that's why I didn't close This is super, very nice for layering in the fall. I agree. These are all glass. Look at those pretty, pretty beads. Also probably 36 inches. That is really nice. Very pretty. Look at a little bit of lamp work here too, right? Or would you call it? Just try curl glass. Yes, it's Sarah Coventry. The other one was, and this one was Monet. And they both look quite royal. These are amazing. Almost um, kind of an amber color. A, definitely like a topaz, smoke topaz color. Just the most beautiful colors in here. Wow. Very nice. Whiskey colors and super, super long. This is a long necklace. Easily tripled. Could easily be a triple strand. There it is there. Wow, that is just gorgeous. And these, this one is, it is, it does kind of look like a clover of sorts, doesn't it? And so does this one in a way. They're so pretty. Oh my gosh. That is just so, so sweet of you, Miss Dawn. I just can't thank you enough for this. Wow, so pretty. Yeah, see, this doesn't matter. Oh, there's there we go. We had it in the wrong one. And I guess these are correct. And I'm going to make room for somewhere very prominent for this gorgeous, gorgeous box. I just can't get over it. I love this. Look at that. It's like a bookshelf. It's like a beautiful bookcase. Oh my goodness, that is just amazing. All right, guys. Well, we got to see what was in it. This is what we started with last night, that beautiful lion head brooch. And... Uh, Oh my goodness, all those beautiful lions. Both of us are Leos. Those of you who are Leos, I don't know if you collect lions, but I do. And I'm just amazed with all these gorgeous items, all of this gold thing. I just want to hang it here and look at it, right? It's going to have to just be admired, but I'm definitely going to wear this belt with something. I almost wore a belt with the skirt I was wearing today. I was wearing a black skirt, but we'll see. This is definitely going to be a outfit of the day <laughs> so thank you so much for coming in guys i do appreciate it come back again very soon i will do a ride along video coming up probably tomorrow since it's discount day i'll probably maybe do a lunchtime ride along 
and then I'd probably do a um, another jewelry jar before the weekend is up. Again, all the best to you. I hope you enjoyed Fat Tuesday and had a wonderful day today. And um, be blessed tomorrow for Ash Wednesday. Thanks again, guys. Have a good night. Bye-bye.